Sunny. Welcome, welcome. So, uh, I got a request to look at a chasse staying in promenade, going into a running weave. Um, so it's not my favorite choreography. It's actually quite awkward feeling for the lady, and I personally prefer to have choreography that feels good as well as looks good. But um, I'll give you some helpful nuggets today that should make this pattern um, a little easier for you. Um, so in this case, usually we would end in promenade position down line of dance or diag center. In the case of the choreography we'll cover today, it starts diag center. Um, so for, like from an open impetus. So diag center. So we have a chasse for man, heel, toe, 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 and then a running weave. Heel, toe, 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 and then reverse slip pivot, toe. So once again for man, um, and I'll just isolate to make, not make an hour long video. We have a chasse on promenade, we have a forward side close forward, and then we have a running weave. Forward, around, back, back, into a slip pivot. So ladies, to make this a little easier for your lady, a couple little suggestions. Number one, think of leaving this chasse and promenade like you would a tipsy from promenade in quick step. So forward, and then we're gonna add uh, a little extra sway and shorten the flight. This is gonna help slow the momentum down before you have to get around her on that running weave. So it'll make it easier to lead. So forward, Now you're running weave forward with maximum turnout on your right heel. Drive around with wide legs as much as possible like you're riding a Clyde sail on step two of the running weave. Inside edge of the right toe on step three, don't go anywhere here. Just keep your weight forward, roll through. Tight legs on step four so she knows to go outside the partner. And then the slip pivot, think about going backwards. And again, tight thighs. And since we just did this big running figure, whatever comes next, we'll go forward on your left heel. Don't go long on this first step. She's changing direction. That'll be too hard for her to follow. So timing. You've got a lot of variations on the running weave. Obviously, the chasse will be one, two, and three. But my suggestion for a running weave ending in a reverse slip pivot is to wait to put the slow at the end because you've got five steps and three beats. That's a heck of a lot of syncopation. The easiest for her to follow um, for the chasse, again, is just one, two, and three. And the running weave, I suggest one and two and three. That puts the reverse slip pivot. Um, gives you a full beat to lead that figure. And that'll be the hardest thing to lead and change momentum out of this whole thing. It's not wrong to, to put the slow somewhere else in there. And artistically, you can do that if you're a skilled dancer. But my suggestion when you're starting out this choreography, again, timing. One, two, and three, and. One, and two, and three. leads head positions. So I'm going to promenade. Promenade, 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 promenade. Running weave. Outside the partner. Closed position. Looking to the wall. Backing diagonal center. Again, looking to the wall. Backing diagonal center. Looking to the wall. Don't look at your girl. Look outside of your hand. Reverse slip, pivot, finish looking, line of dance. Okay? Ladies, so our choreography for today, I'm starting with the chasse from Promenade to take a very small prep step on beat six of probably what's going to be an open impetus. I'm going to go forward heel, toe, toe, toe. My running weave. Heel, heel, toe, toe, and my foot pivot. Toe flat heel, tight thighs, ending in front. 
something that goes back on the outside edge of my right toe. And ladies, I'm going to show coming this way, there's a lot of switches for you. I'm going to promenade on my heel. Promenade, promenade, promenade. My running knee. I'm going to go forward, forward. would go forward that much in dancing. So you do want to power um, not so much on the prep, but everything else. We're going to gun it, gun it, gun it. Okay, so I'll show that again, ladies. I'm going to go this way. So actually, I'm back up so you can see the whole thing. For ladies, on heel, toe, 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 heel, heel, toe, toe, Ladies, something that'll help him feel your center, because you're generally lighter than him, less strong than him, track your thighs. So this whole time, I'm trying to have tight thighs. So coming right at you, slide the thighs together, heel, toe, 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 running weave especially. Rub the thigh, rub the thigh, rub the thigh, rub the thigh, rub the thigh. Rub the thigh. Thighs. So I'm always trying to think like I'm holding a little marble between my thighs. I don't want to drop that marble. Okay, ladies, let's talk about sway. There's a lot going on in this figure. So go ahead and we're promenade. Promenade, promenade. This is where things get a little difficult for lady. Heel. Now I'm going to have a rightward swing here. This is a little bit unusual. Heel. Rightward. Toe. And I'm going to switch to left on the reverse slip pivot. So head positions for lady, and I'll show that a couple different ways. Because again, there's a lot going on. Go right at you. I'm with the outside of the hand. Outside of the hand, outside of the hand, outside of the hand. Okay, now I'm going to switch, and I'm looking backwards. Backwards. Oops, sorry. Let me show that again, ladies. Sorry, it's hard to freeze here. So on that, um, chasse, outside, 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 outside. Go ahead and keep that head right, keep it right, keep it right, keep it right, and switch left on the reverse slip pivot. We do have a couple acceptable head positions, but this one looks the best out of most people. Um, and now let me just stand fat, not freezing, ladies, so you can see kind of what that would look like in action. And I'll take it this way this time, ladies. So, look right. Looking right, right, right. And switching to left. So, hopefully that makes sense. Um, ladies, make sure this is a very low figure. Don't let the elbows drop with the legs. I'm always thinking about rolling my shoulders back having my elbows like I'm holding a big balance ball. If you're practicing alone, go ahead and pretend you're holding your ball up there. If you have a pillow or something in your house, dance it with that. So my elbows are up, my elbows up, 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 up. Even though my legs are low, my elbows are up, okay? And we want to make sure to lift that left side. So we never want to drop something in dancing. We're always going to lift higher. So hopefully that's been helpful. Um, that's kind of, uh, I do break um, that running weave down in a different video and the chasse from promenade in a different video. Um, if you want to see those steps in more detail or choreography options before and after those figures. But those are some little nuggets that should help these, uh, this pattern look and feel better for you. So thanks so much for joining me today. Um, if you have any questions or a certain choreography you want me to cover or a, a certain pattern, um, just shoot me a note in the comments. I always read those and I will respond and post it. So thanks so much. Have an awesome day. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye guys.